Yo, what's going on guys, it's Tim for HG and today we are back with the second episode of the Barnet Career Mode and before we start I just want to say a quick thank you for smashing the likes on the first video we got 15 likes, that was much appreciated, thank you very much and as you can see we start the episode by just going to confirm some few, a few transfers first one was Rene Adelaide and the second was Gokan Gaul the third one was with Aralano, the left back from Atletico Bilbao um, 18 years of age, he looks promising Gokhan Gul, 16 years of age, the tender age of 16, 57 rated um, centre back and has the potential to grow to around 80 rated and last but not least Rene Adelaide, the um, I think 17 years old from Arsenal, centre attacking mid, he looks pr pretty promising and yeah that's just a few good signings to um, to improve our starting lineup, and um, as you can see, all the all the players we're, play, uh, we're trying to sign are young, and trying to fit in with that philosophy that we have um, to bring in young players. And that leads me to our next point: we need to um, get a few funds together to get a good quality scout. At the moment, we're going to have to sell for like a two-star scout because or we obviously don't have the money to get a five-star scout. And also, we will be using the scout future star um, from the EA catalog, but that won't be used until the fourth episode because all of these vi um, videos are pre-recorded. So I, um, I haven't done it yet in those pre-recorded videos. Um, so yeah, we go and change the numbers of these players, and you might say, "Oh yeah, why are you changing these numbers? It's just numbers." But um, I have a belief that. Um, because this series is called class of 15 each specific player should have their specific number and that that they should be known as like we, we all know david beckham was number seven you all know um we all know what's his name we all know wait, wait i'm trying to think of a good example we all know uh zidane was, was number 10 we all know perla was number 21 yeah so we need these players to have these their specific numbers so that people can remember them and um yeah we go into a match um our second match i think it's no third match of the preseason tournament and um this match really frustrated me because um we were playing well we got a lot of chances and um you'll see what happens at the end but that really really frustrated me as you can see we played our new signings Rene adelaide and gohan go in this match just to get them a few a bit of game time um and yeah mclean on the ball he gets tackled and um we, yeah we did have a few chances in this match um but it was just thrown away due to silly silly mistake from me and the silly silly penalty we gave away there and that just really really annoyed me i don't know how we got we we considered that penalty and um so the the player steps up and we think he's gonna score but no he misses and you might say oh so why are you frustrated about this match you'll see now i made a silly mistake pass it straight to the foot of the attacker and um he makes no mistake in putting it back in, in the back of the net so that is how we threw those three points away it really really frustrated me because that was a big match and we needed to win that match if we wanted to go further as you can see we're going to be using this um new feature in the game which is training uh we're going to go um, and train a few of our players um just to get them better and um yeah so the players that we decide to actually train are the players with those um green like arrow things on their name this means that they have um good potential to grow and they um it'll be good to train them especially the young players so we put Rene adelaide on trans creation because he needs you need them to be that creative spark in the midfield to be cre creating chances for our strikers the other player we put is matthew stevens i think so i'm not sure if that was a mistake yeah we put matthew stevens on uh on training we also put Gokhan Gaul as you can see he's got that little arrow by his name as well we put him on I think it was El Rondo or two on two defending or one on one I can't remember which one it was but yeah this guy looks like he's going to grow a bit hopefully we can use it utilize him in our squad for, um, so he can grow because he needs that gameplay time next player we put on is uh, Julian Aralano that player that we signed on loan uh, previously uh, he played one in the in the match but obviously we can see the silly go and then last player we're going to put is kai mckenzie lyle this guy is on the 44 rated 17 years old but he this guy has the potential to grow by i think it's like 20 ratings which is very very good so the training results came in Red adelaide got an a um 
go home go got a c uh arulana got a d and um the last person i can't remember who it was got a okay kyra kai kai mckenzie got a f um we also go and put in a cheeky bid for reza gucciadigad from charlton I, I just wanted to see what they would say about that because um we don't really need a striker but i just wanted to see test the resolve for him then we also go and scout a few players just to um just to get a broad idea of what we are working with and also we get all these offers back from our, the players that we um, made inquiries about Martin Odegaard, Mason Holdgate um, we, we, and Albert Doozy we go and accept Martin Odegaard on a two year um, loan deal um, we go and also accept Iwobi and um, Mason Holgate as well but Elba Duzzi I think we're just going to turn him down for now because we have a lot of players in that department he could be he could be good backup so yeah, I might still go in for him but for now we're just not going to um, leave him there because I'm not sure if we he'll be getting the gameplay that he needs at this club if we bring him in so um, yeah we're just going to turn him down and bring in Iwobi and um, so who was there? Um, Mason Holgate then we're going to go and track them straight into our first team lineup um so so we have a match um coming up against um i'm um, against uh i think their name is cow cow louton from the bundesliga um and we are hoping to um, play a few more of our youth players and also give debuts to the likes of odegaard and um who else was it it will be um, just give them debuts and give them a bit of game play, game time. I'm really excited to use um, Odegaard, especially because um, we brought him from a high, such a high club, Real Madrid, all the way it comes down to Barnet. Hopefully, he can shine for our club. I'm I'm looking for him to be a star player. I think I've given him the number ten because I want to build my squad around him. And um, yeah, uh, so we're going as you can see the start the starting lineup. We're going hand over our debuts to Holdgate, Odegaard, and um, Iwobi. Um, I'm really excited to see how they play in this game but obviously we go down again early early goal from Kyle Loughton and um, yeah that was really really disappointing to go 1-0 down so early again because that really ha that's, that seems to be the trend we go down really early and then we fight back and and then we get another goal but uh, as you can see Weston on the ball rounds the keeper well there's really round the keeper but just goes near post and beats the keeper and um, we equalise um, pretty quickly I'm really lacking this formation and I'm liking Curtis Weston I think he'll be a key player on our squad but I'm not sure he might be replaced by Odegaard um, soon because they play similar positions and I also want to bring in a new CDM um, so yeah if you have any CDMs in mind drop them in the comments below um, so yeah we have a con we are uh, we try to defend the corner here I can't even get my words out today I'm not sure why it just um, Saturday obviously a really tiring day off school and stuff no not really off school but um, it's rest day after school after after a stressful week at school but yeah we go and concede yet another penalty another penalty this always happens to me i don't know why i've conceded like five penalties already in fifa, FIFA 16 um and yeah um we dive the wrong way he goes straight down the middle and um yeah they make it 2-1 and it looks like it looks like we're set to lose another one of our, our third match and that would set that would mean that we'll go crashing out of the group which is not good because i wanted to get that um money because that would have been really helpful for us to um get like a scout or something like that but unfortunately it was not meant to be and um yeah to be honest it was a good penalty i think we played well in this um in this match because we were playing a, quite a top team in the bundesliga they are quite an established team in the Bundesliga um, so yeah we're gonna make a few changes um, just to bring in a few of our um, signings and give um, some opportunities to some of our young players as you can see we just keep fighting trying to get that find, find that equalizer trying to get that spark of hope maybe um, even try and, try and push on for the three points as you see um, we I can't remember who that was but I can they on release on the ball um, hits a ferocious shot and the keeper makes a great save. Akinde looks really good so far and I think he could be a very key player in our squad. As you can see, um, Akinde again on the ball 
it misses another good save from the keeper shoots again another good, uh, block from the defenders the defenders still can't hear it and yeah that was just the story of our lives we just couldn't really convert our goals um, we decided to take off Rene Adelaide because he looks pretty tired and um, bring on Todd Tog well as well in the CDM for Curtis Weston and um, yeah uh, we decided to bring on uh, I think it was we believe I believe we brought on it will be um, just to add just that extra pace um, I think, um, coming on with McLean so um, yeah we just went to try and push for the three points and um, hoping that we can still have a spark of hope in this competition but um, it just doesn't look like it was meant to be um, so yeah uh, that was basically how the match ended um if you did enjoy this video guys um please be sure to you drop a like if you didn't hit the dislike button let me know in the comments below but yeah safe for watching and i'll follow you guys later peace